Very neon. My standards are higher than this, sorry. It's so bad, I don't know how it like escaped their testing facility. I think I've just tried the first mac and cheese that tastes like nothing. It tastes like a mac and cheese that was around in the 90s. Why is it lemony? Something a child without taste buds would eat. Do you know what I mean? These noodles look a little weird. Like, what is that? Well, I'm not sure if this tastes like bacon or hot dog. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the long-awaited mac and cheese roundup taste test video. The results might surprise you. I tried no less than 14 mac and cheeses in this video. If you know a vegan box mac and cheese I have not included in this video, cheddar flavor, then comment it down below because I really went out there and grabbed into the depths of the health food stores, into the depths of Whole Foods, into the depths of Amazon for any mac and cheese I can get my hands on. I thought I kept all the boxes, but uh, I, I went into my little pile and I only had one, two, three, four, five with me. Um, so here's a little sneak peek of all the ones I'm gonna try in this video. This video was triggered because my favorite vegan mac and cheese of all time, Modern Table, went out of business last year or early this year. And honestly, devastating. Not only were they delicious, but it was gluten-free and high protein too. How did they do all three? How did they do all three and still go out of business? I don't think I'll ever recover, but this isn't a pity party. I know what you're here for, so let's get straight on into it. Welcome to the journey of me trying to find a box vegan mac and cheese that doesn't taste like this. This mac and cheese was recommended by a lot of people, but I have to tell you, I'm still pretty nervous. Deluxe mac and cheese, gluten-free, and like with bacon bits in it. I don't have hopes for this one, but I'm down to try every single mac and cheese y'all recommend to me. So let's get this party started. I have made it. It looks like this. Uh, the little bacon bits look bacon bitsy. It does look very, you know, creamy and cheesy. Very neon. This is supposed to be three servings though. <laughs> Not a lot of protein. At least it's gluten free for those of y'all who need gluten free stuff. Hmm. I cooked the shells for longer than it said, and they're still not fully cooked. It's not bad. Um, the bacon bits are crunchy, which is nice. Although I'm not sure if this tastes like bacon or hot dog. I'm leaning more hot dog, and I'm not a fan of this gluten free pasta texture. Even though I know that some gluten-free pastas have great texture. <clears throat> Modern table. It's fine. Will I eat it? Yes. Is it great for gluten-free people? Fantastic. I can see the appeal. I think I would eat a little bit of this on a side and not really a bowl of this. You feel me? At the very least, it is not strangely lemony. On to the next. Hey, I just came back from a Target and while I was there, I wandered around a little bit and looked into their vegan mac and cheese. This was one of the ones that I found. This is a little bit different than the rest of the ones I'm reviewing in this video because this is like microwavable and I feel like that's pretty interesting. I actually bought two different Annie's mac and cheeses. This one's microwavable, the other one's like normal. But because I'm curious, we're gonna try this one today. It should be ready in just four minutes. No, two minutes. It's very cute. It's like a take to work in school type situation with like, you know, the portability of it. Let's see, remove lid and seasoning packet, add water, microwave, add seasoning packet. Easy enough. These noodles look a little weird. Like, what is that? What are those? But here we go. Ugh. This is after it's been cooked. Y'all, not only are my hopes not high, but what kind of portion is this? The cheese powder actually smells really good. Oh, this is hard to mix with one hand, sorry. Okay, now it is giving like old school craft, not like the color, but the smell and the shape of the pasta. But like, okay, this is, this cup is full to here. It's literally full to here. This is not even a serving. Like, this is ridiculous. How little mac and cheese is in here? Okay, see? It smells good, so like, at least my flavor hopes are high. But let's just say it is good. I get like three bites. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like much. This is the mac and cheese you gave children before they know what good food tastes like. 
because it doesn't taste bad, but it just doesn't taste good. It just tastes like kind of bland, something a child without taste buds would eat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a pretty accurate description. On to the next. If I had to guess one mac and cheese that will make it to the top of the list, it's this one. It's the Goodles, and let me explain why. Number one is it has similar like macros to the winner of my last video, which was Modern Table. Um, and I just want this to win. I don't know why, but I do. Let's cross our fingers, it's actually good. Packaging is adorable. The brand is called Goodles. They make several non-vegan flavors, and this is their only vegan one. Now that is a red flag, because if they generally make non-vegan food, their standard for vegan food might be kind of low. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, this might give like cauliflower, steak, portobello, mushroom. Or it might not. These pastas are so tiny. Look how tiny. Look how tiny the pasta is. Look how tiny. Anyway, I'm gonna go cook it up and we'll give it a little this at this. My hopes aren't as high anymore, mostly because it smells slightly like feet. And I just feel like it's not that creamy. Also, I generally prefer not white cheddar, but the only vegan flavor they had was white cheddar. So this is what we have. Okay, Goodles. Let's see what's up. Maybe it had that strangely lemony thing that a lot of vegan mac and cheeses have. But I don't think it's that. It's like strangely sharp. Which white cheddar is sharp. So maybe it's not that bad that it's sharp. But it's not creamy. The cheese is watery. And it said to add one third cup of liquid, which I did. My standards are higher than this. Sorry. I was going to say it's a little too sharp, but maybe not if you're expecting white cheddar. Maybe it's like a good amount of sharp. It's sharper than I like my mac and cheeses to be. And it's not as creamy as I would like my mac and cheeses to be. So, like I'll eat it and I like that it has high protein in it. But I'm disappointed and I don't think this will be the winner. Well, I hope not. I hope I find a better mac and cheese. Hello, we're trying Annie's Vegan Mac Macaroni and Cheddar flavor. You put a little bit of butter and a little bit of almond milk in with the powder sauce. The macaroni shape is very, you know, nostalgic to typical childhood mac and cheeses. And even though we recently tried a couple Annie's, I'm told that the recipes are different between like, you know, the different ones. So we're giving Annie's another shot. It looks pretty macaroni and cheesy. I'm gonna tilt it as much as it can go. <gasps> I've got macaroni and cheese all over my leggings and the floor. It smells good. I'm actually really excited. Now, it's not high protein or gluten free like our Lord and Savior Modern Table was um, before it tragically passed away not to resurrect. But if it at least tastes good, it's something because I don't think any other vegan mac and cheese tastes very good. So, cheers. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. You know, I do wish it was more creamy. Like, I wish there was more creamy sauce. However, I think this is the closest to Kraft mac and cheese we've gotten so far. I really think so. Like, if the cheese was creamier and the color was more artificially bright, My camera's dying, but you know, this isn't a 10 out of 10, but it's the best we have so far. Another day, another mac and cheese, my friends. Today's is interesting. Um, grown ass mac. I've only seen it in a few places. I've seen it in some like little specialty novelty stores. I also saw them at Expo East, maybe? I don't know, I feel like they were at some sort of event. I have made a pot. I've made a pot. It smells amazing, but it smells like not mac and cheese. Um, the, the sound is appropriate. The look is not very creamy. It, the powder didn't really dissolve into the butter and milk as you would like it to. Your main cheese ingredients 
seems to be potato and nutritional yeast. Now this does have truffle in it, which is probably why it doesn't smell like mac and cheese. I have a feeling, before I try it, let's predict. I predict that I will like it, but disqualify it from this competition for not being true mac and cheese. Let's go. Like the cheese is giving, the cheese is not like cheesy. It's just like a little bit oily. Kind of like when you make mac and cheese, but your sauce broke apart, you know? Cheers. Mm. You know, it smells better than it tastes. It tastes 40% of what it smells. If it tasted as much as it smelled, I would be a fan. But the taste is very mild compared to the smell, which is a little disappointing. Okay, number one. I do disqualify it from this whole competition. I'll rate it at the end though, but this isn't mac and cheese. This is like a truffle garlic sauce pasta. Now, as a truffle garlic pa sauce pasta, I do wish the flavor was stronger because while the smell is maybe a 9 out of 10, the taste is like a 7, you know? This isn't really what we're looking for. And for what it is, they could level it up a little bit. Those are my thoughts. Goodbye. <laughs> this is your brain on no mac and cheese. Good evening, actually. Would you believe that it is, I don't wanna show you outside because then you'll know where I live. It's dark outside and it's only like, what time is it, babe? 4.46. 4.46, nighttime. And this nighttime, we will be reviewing Roads and Organics, Shells and Shrees, cheddar style. Now I have tried the green box of this before, but that one wasn't cheddar style. And for these reviews, I like to get cheddar style to even the playing field. So when I saw this the other day, I knew I had to throw it in to the game. Um, this is probably the oldest mac and cheese brand I know of. There are people who were vegan in the 90s who told me they remember this brand. Because of this, the green box tasted like the back end of a health food store, you know, the bulk section where they sell nuts and nutritional yeast. But as I made this red box, it kind of smelled good. So... Maybe it will surprise us. The shell shape and pasta were, were nice. Like I ate some of this pasta before putting the mac and cheese on it. But now that it's all mixed together, it seems as though the cheese sauce is no longer cheesy. It seemed to have congealed a little bit. I like to go over what the cheese is made out of. Wheat flour and nutritional yeast. Well then. See how I mean, like not that not that cheesy, it's like, I don't know, it turned a little fluffy? I don't know. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. It tastes like a mac and cheese that was around in the 90s. Is it better than the green box? I don't know. All I know is that I'm gonna have to put some seasoning and hot sauce to be able to finish this. I think I've just tried the first mac and cheese that tastes like nothing. As I was making the mac and cheese for this review, I like, licked my finger, and it tasted like nothing. The texture is also weird. Okay, can you tell that it's like chunky? Can you tell it's like chunky? It's not creamy, it's like chunky. Do you see it? I don't know. I, this like thing on the edge, I went, and it tasted like, like, like tapioca starch or something. What is this? What is this? Oh yeah, by the way, this is the brand. It's called Camp. Very cute, but when you line up the boxes in a row, it just says ka 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 ka. It's kind of funny. What is the cheese made out of? Sweet, but oh my god, it's made out of tapioca starch and vegetables. That's exactly what it tastes like. All right, okay. So the one plus side of this is that, like, there's protein in it. So like, a serving has like 10 grams of protein, which isn't bad for mac and cheese. But uh, let's just go for it. Cheers. Oh, it tastes worse than nothing. It is like boiled pumpkin and pea protein. Congratulations, this is the second worst mac and cheese I've ever tried. The first worst is Bonza mac and cheese. Their vegan cheddar one. I literally won't even take another bite. 
Now those are all the mac and cheeses I tried in the past couple months. Just to be thorough, let's do a brief overview of all the mac and cheeses I tried a couple years ago. If you want the extended version of those reviews, I'll include the older mac and cheese review video in the description. Blast into the past. It's called Mac and Chef Howl. I gave myself half a box, which is a serving and a half. There's technically three servings in the box, but I didn't think that was enough food for me, so I just like cut the mac and cheese in half. Why is it lemony? I would not buy it again, and I would not recommend it. Today's mac and cheese is a classic. We have Daya. Looks real crafty. It looks fairly cheesy, fairly good, I might say. You know what? This is much better than the white cheddar one. It still has a little bit of that tang, but it's much more edible than the last one. So I want to give it a seven. So I pulled out the one that was actually recommended to me the most which is this one from Modern Table. Not only was it recommended to me the most, but it also is made out of protein pasta, and you guys know I love protein pasta. There we go. This whole bowl is technically two servings. The whole box is technically two servings, but I think I will eat it in one serving. There's no lemony taste! This is the best one I've had so far. I would buy this. I would buy it and I would eat it. Definitely a thumbs up. Today we're doing Annie's Certified Organic Deluxe, rich and creamy. Here's the box right here. And I would say they look really good. This is decent. Why did my voice just crack? It says rich and creamy. And I found the cheese ratio slightly lacking considering some of the other shittier ones I've had this month. Leaps and bounds. So I was cooking up this Cheesy Mac from Upton's for the review, and I have to show you, the pasta comes pre-cooked. Um, all you do is put the pasta and the cheese in a pot and warm it up together. The macaroni is still kind of squished from being all squished in the bag, but for people who don't have access to a stovetop and like just a microwave or something, this is really neat. It tastes like bacon. It doesn't taste like mac and cheese. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but like, it does it taste does like taste bacon? Like bacon? It kind of does taste, is that a bacon flavor? Mac no, it's just regular Cheesy Mac. It's just called Cheesy Mac. Very interesting. Not usually a flavor I'm looking for when I want mac and cheese though, you know? I also want to say that this was supposed to be two servings, which is absolute bullshit. Hey guys, today we're reviewing the Possibilities, possibilities, plant-based, organic, vegan mac and cheese, under the sea. But look how cute the box is though. This is very much like, like geared towards little children. This seems to be a decent serving. Although technically the box is supposed to be like three and a half servings. But why would you divide it like that? Like who are you gonna give the half serving to? Like. I don't understand. So now I'm eating one and one sixth of a serving. Anyway, so this is one and one sixth of a serving. My main complaint isn't really the the sauce. The sauce is fine. The pasta texture is a little bit strange. Hmm. It's not bad though. It's not the best, but like it's not nasty like some of the other ones were. Hey guys, today we're reviewing the last mac and cheese, and there is a reason why this is the last mac and cheese. It's because I've had this mac and cheese before, and I remember it being so bad that I refused to even dirty a bowl for it, so I'm going to eat it out of this pot. And that brand is Bonza. I know, I love Bonza so much. I literally only eat chickpea pasta now. I've completely switched over. Here's a good view of the mac and cheesy. Also, this is the, the powdered kind that you have to mix with milk and butter. Testing facility. In conclusion, rest in peace, modern table. 
Nothing compares to you yet. However, the winner is currently Annie's Vegan Mac and Cheese. Specifically, Annie's Vegan Mac, macaroni and cheddar flavor, macaroni and sauce. Why'd they have to say macaroni three times? I give second place to another Annie's product, that's the Annie's Deluxe and Creamy, and Possibilities gets third place. In dead last, we have Bonza, still, still don't know how that came out of research and development. And then tied for second worst is maybe Road's End, but I don't blame them because they're ancient, and Camp. I do blame them because they're new and should know better. At least I think they're new. The packaging looks fresh. I await your critique on my opinions. Let me know what you think. And let me know again if I missed any mac and cheeses. Also, is there any other vegan product you think I should do a giant roundup video like this one with? I've done it before, I think, with chicken nuggets and sausages, although those were a long time ago, so I wouldn't hate doing an updated version. I hope my findings help you out on your vegan or dairy-free journey. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And my TikTok is the same handle too. If you'd like to support and fund these reviews because they definitely seem to add up, then my Patreon is down below. My lowest tier is only $3 a month and you get access to my Finsta where I truly act a fool. So that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!